Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I am Surya Atash, Master of Science in School Counseling and Marriage, Family, and Child Therapist, and also a presenter of Cosmo Inter Science Factor Study Center. Today, I have a pleasure to present the study named A Comparison of the Definition of Intelligence in Psychology and Simontology. This study examines different critical theories in the field of intelligence, memory, and creativity, and compares the previous definitions with those of Simontology story on these topics. Muhammad Ali Tahiri is the founder of Simontology, an Iranian complementary medicine that explores the existential dimensions of the human mind and psyche and their complications. Simontology aims to introduce novel methods to make accessing constructive and productive insights and intuitions possible that would promote human growth and evolution and would lead to the activation of the creative genius in individuals and the emergence of new ideas in various areas of knowledge. Muhammad Ali Tahiri introduced novel fields with non-material, non-energetic nature named Tahiri Consciousness Fields, TCFs. T consciousness is one of the three existing elements of the universe apart from matter and energy. According to this theory, there are various TCFs with different functions, which are the subcategories of a network universal internet called the Cosmic Consciousness Network, CCN. The influence of the TCFs begins with the connection between CCN as the whole consciousness of the universe and the subjects of the study as a part. The major difference between the theory of TCFs and other theoretical concepts about consciousness is related to the practical application of the TCFs. TCFs can be applied to all living and non-living creatures, including plants, animals, microorganisms, and materials. This field's TCF cannot be directly measured by science, but it is possible to investigate their effects on various subjects through reproducible laboratory experiments. Science fact is new science because it utilizes scientific investigation to prove the existence of T consciousness as an irrefutable phenomenon and a fact. From Simontology point of view, understanding the human beings require a comprehensive and super holistic view. From this view, human beings, in addition to physical sensors, five senses, also possess mental and supramental sensors. Supramental sensors are recipients of intuition. They have the ability to create information that does not exist previously and the ability to receive awareness from beyond the mind. Simontology offers tried and true knowledge that can lead to a practical and precise definition of creativity and intelligence. From this view, all intellectual activities comprise three categories intelligence, wisdom, memory. According to Simontology, intelligence in the ability to create and bring about new information in various fields, wisdom on the other hand is the ability to apply, make use of and utilize anything, while memory is the ability to store and recall information. The ability to memorize information and events and the recollection of them is represented as MQT, memory quotient, and it does function in relation to wisdom and intelligence. In psychology, IQ, intelligent quotient, is a quantitative measure of wisdom, but in cymatology is known as wisdom quantity or the apparent intelligence. The extent of intelligence in cymatology is the extent of creativity and ability to create. It is the true IQ, which is considered as inner intelligence and called IQT, that is 
qualitative in nature and cannot be measured by numbers. In psychology, what is known as IQ, representing the potential of learning, computation, language, comprehension, memory, and abstract reasoning from the standpoint of cymatology are considered wisdom or apparent intelligence that are aspects of wisdom and are called WQT. In cymatology, creativity is defined as the inner intelligence, a potential in all humans that needs to be activated. This activation requires a high degree of thirst of knowledge and discovery of truth in addition to other measures. According to the theory of intelligence in cymatology, intelligence is the ability to create and bring about new information in various fields. Wisdom, on the other hand, is the ability to apply, make use of, and utilize anything, while memory is the ability to store and recall information. For example, Wexler defined intelligence as the individual's ability to adapt to their environment effectively and to act purposefully. According to Binet's definition, intelligence is the ability to understand, reason, judge, and solve problems. According to Gardner's theory, in order to assess all the ability and talents of a person, the IQ alone should not be examined, but also other type of intelligence and talent should be considered. Goldman presented a definition of emotional intelligence as the understanding and managing the emotions of oneself and others. Spiritual intelligence is unique to human beings and deals with the underlying beliefs about the meaning of life, understanding the integration between human beings and their environment, the ability to receive intuition, a holistic view of the world, and the fundamental question about why and how human beings were created. Creativity and innovation are among the most sublime characteristic of human beings. The development of the human civilization and their lives are impossible without creativity. Conclusively, three main fields in which intelligence is defined are wisdom intelligence, emotional intelligence, and spiritual intelligence. From the cymatology point of view, intelligence quality, IQT, is the ability to manifest creativity, innovation, and to create information and things that did not formerly exist. It also can occur during sleep and wakefulness. Intelligence is innate, common, and latent, and therefore is not inherited. Unlike wisdom, intelligence cannot be learned or programmed and cannot be increased by learning. Therefore, if personal ability increase by learning, it is an effect of wisdom, not intelligence. In cymatology, creativity usually emerges as placeless, timeless, languageless, and in the form of a mental spark. Its occurrence is not time consuming, while rational thinking is time consuming. In cymatology, MQT is the ability to memorize events and information and is not part of the capabilities of wisdom and IQT. It is a separate software that works in conjunction with wisdom and intelligence. The current Education system relies on memorization of content, while it is imperative for the education system to be creativity oriented in order to foster the growth and development of individuals and help human societies thrive and flourish. For this to occur, it is necessary to achieve the creative potential in children and adolescents which are not activated through simple memorization of content. Otherwise, their mental capabilities will gradually diminish over time and will be replaced by stereotypical teaching that are dry and devoid of any creative spark. Connecting the human's minds to the consciousness and intelligence that governs the universe CCN is an effective way to promote intelligence 
and cause the emergence of inventions and innovations. Human intuition is scientifically known to be the cause of emerging creativity. Scientology seeks to provide new methods for achieving intuition, thriving, flourishing, and human access to constructive inspiration. At the end, I would like to give special thanks to you for your attention and listening to my presentation. Cosmonintel welcomes the collaboration of all attendants at the scientific and professional team based on expertise in various areas of science.